And this is an example of actually what we call our turbocharger device. And I'll, I'll, I'll distinguish where, where we've developed and, and where we've been at. Um, but this device here, it's about two centimeters by two centimeters, you know, not quite an inch on each side, um, and about a quarter inch thick. Um, and a device of this size could, could supply somewhere between 10 and 20 watts of power. But if we, we size a fuel tank around here that's, let's say, about the same size as the battery that goes in your laptop, uh, this would be a power source that could run your laptop, but it would, would probably run your laptop for about a dozen hours, um, as opposed to, to the one to two hours that you typically operate it at. So in this picture you see here is, is a representation of this concept that I showed where we would use this little engine as a, a battery replacement. So you can see a little cross section. We actually took one of our little engines and, and sliced it in half. Uh, you can see the little rotor sticking out of it. Um, as I said, it's a gas turbine. It has a little compressor, a little turbine built inside, a little spinning disc. Um, We've inserted that back into the device, and you can see it sitting on the postage stamp. Um, and this device would then fit inside a, a little volume chamber, which would be the fuel tank. And you would size the fuel tank for the specific application that, that, that you were to operate at. So if we were to, to, to design it for a laptop, you'd design your little fuel tank to have the same form factor as the battery that currently fits into your laptop. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about how such an engine would work. As I mentioned, it's, it's a little gas turbine, miniature gas turbine that we're trying to design. And it has the same functionality and the same features as a large-scale gas turbine would have. And what that means is it's got an internal rotor uh, with a, a compressor and a turbine. Uh, it's got a little combustion chamber inside it, a variety of flow passages, and it will ultimately have a little electric generator uh, integrated inside the, the package as well. And this will all fit in a little package uh, that's, that's normally about several cubic centimeters in volume. Um, what you're looking at here um, is, is a picture of a compressor, and actually it's a wafer of compressors, and that's one of the advantages of this micro uh, electromechanical uh, fabrication technique, this MEMS technique, is that we can make on a single wafer, and this is a picture here, it's actually showing a four inch wafer, although you can't see the extent of, of the edges of the wafer, um, but on each wafer we can build uh, on the order of, of 19 to 100 uh, engines simultaneously. Uh, it's what, what we call batch processing, uh, and, and using the same sort of sort of ideas where, where uh, with computer chips, we also, on a single wafer, you make multiple chips at the same time. Uh, by making multiple engines at the same time, we have better control um, over the process. Uh, we can potentially make them at, at a, a lower cost. That's the ultimate goal, um, or one of the ultimate goals with, with the MEMS technology is to make devices at, at reasonable cost. Um, Large-scale gas turbines are very expensive devices, um, but you use them in applications where you can spread the cost out and it's not an issue. But you don't typically see smaller-scale gas turbines because, again, it's a highly engineered, uh, requires very high precision and tolerances, and it's very difficult to make that inexpensively. Uh, so one of our hopes is by using this fabrication technique and making multiple ones at the same time uh, with a process which is relatively robust, you can actually get the price point down uh, to the point where its cost would not be that much different from uh, a computer chip cost. What's being shown now is, is an individual turbine, and we focused in here so you can see uh, what we call the nozzle guide vanes, uh, those little uh, blade-like structures with little triangles in the middle, uh, which are stationary, and those feed the flow into the little rotor in the center. You can see the very thin blades uh, on the rotor, which would be spinning. Um, 